It's Pam from AccuQuilt. I'm here today with our new limited edition happy anniversary, 10th anniversary to AccuQuilt brand new die Go Elephants. Actually, it's a die that we bought back just for our 10th anniversary and it's really going to be fun. It's a really great, easy applique shape. So in this die, you're going to find the small elephant and the large elephant and then look at this free embroidery download. So if you have an embroidery machine, you can download those shapes. We give you three different stitches. We give you the motif stitch, we give you the blanket stitch, and the satin stitch. You'll also know that these aren't our normal green dies. No, these are our 10th anniversary, limited edition, limited time you can get them, dies go elephants. So let's talk about this project that we're gonna make using our brand new elephant die. It's called Elephant Carousel. So one of the things I love about this quilt is that the elephants aren't gray. It's a great way to bust up your stash, use up your scraps, make some elephants. So you can see that we have the small elephants and the little ear and the large elephants and the little ear. Also to make this project, you're gonna need our eight inch cube, which is part of our Ready, Set, Go. So you're gonna need shape number three, which is those great half square triangles. You're also gonna need shape number one, five, and eight. So if you follow that pattern, it's a free downloadable at AccuQuilt.com. It's called Elephant Carousel. You can follow along and make this project. So quilters, you're gonna notice a couple of things about our new elephant die. First of all, it's a five by 10 die. So you wanna make sure you have a five by 10 cutting mat. You don't wanna have a mat that's bigger than the space that you're gonna cut. Also, the two-tone foam is gonna show you where you wanna place that fabric. Really easy, that's where the blades are, so you know right where to place your fabric. So I'm gonna take my fabric, and I'm just gonna cover up the little elephant guy right here. Now look, I have kind of a bigger piece that I wanna use for the ear, but hey, that's okay, watch. I'm just gonna set it right on top of there. All right. And it's only gonna cut where there is fabric and a mat. So don't worry about the other pieces as it goes through. Now look, I'm gonna use my Go Fabric Cutter. You could also use your Go Baby or your Go Big. Think of how easy and fast that was. If you had to cut those pieces by hand, it would take you much longer. We're 90% faster than with rotary cutters or scissors. All right, we're gonna take this mat and slide it right off. And now we have our little elephant and his little ear. So quilters, you can either stack all of the fabric in one direction and then all of your elephants will be going in the same direction, or you can fan fold that fabric across the die board and then your elephants will face each other, whichever you want to do. All right, so now that we've cut the center of our elephant, we're gonna put together this particular block. So this particular block uses my all-time favorite shape, half square triangles. So we've already cut one of the purple ones. So I am going to take die number three from the eight inch cube, which are half square triangles. So two are cut on one die board. So keep that in mind. So if the instructions say cut two half square triangles, you only need one piece of fabric. But I'm gonna cut up to six layers of cotton in one pass. Since I'm using a geometric shape instead of an applique shape, I wanna make sure that the lengthwise grain of the fabric travels back and forth through the die cutter. So I'm gonna take the label and put it at my belly. Then I'm gonna take my white fabric here. And I know where that lengthwise grain is because the salvage edge is right here. So I'm just gonna fan fold. This is the lengthwise grain. Fan fold, just barely cover that shape. Okay, then I'm gonna take my six by six cutting mat and run it through the Go Fabric Cutter. Look at that, boy. Half square triangles are such a breeze through our fabric cutter. All right, we're gonna slide that off, pull back, and ta-da. So you'll notice a couple of things about our dies. When we cut geometric shapes like triangles and half square triangles and quarter square triangles, 
we cut off those dog ears for you. So this is a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. Isn't that slick? So let's sew these two together. So I'm gonna put right sides together. Now quilters, when I do this, I wanna make sure that I start with a piece of jumper fabric because if I try to sew this right here, this little point is gonna get buried in my needle's gonna bury it and then you're gonna be crabby, okay? So get you a little piece of jumper fabric, ready? We're just gonna start sewing and then we're gonna bring our half square triangles right behind it and you can chain stitch. So quilters, I would tell you to cut all of your pieces first and then sew them together. So not only are we cutting 90% faster, but we're even more efficient when we're sewing, okay? All right, here we go. Look how fast I sewed those half square triangles together. All right, then you're gonna follow the instructions, They're gonna, the pattern, which is free and downloadable at AccuQuilt.com. It's called Elephant Carousel. It's gonna tell you to press open that seam so it lays nice and flat. And then ta-da! So now that I've sewn my half square triangles together, I'm gonna to sew these two pieces together to make one unit and then a whole finished block. Once that block is finished, I'm gonna take my cute little elephant and we're gonna embroider him right in the center. So look how fun that is. Don't forget that our new die comes with a free embroidery download. You get those three great stitches, the motif, the satin stitch, and the blanket stitch. You can purchase our new elephant die either online at AccuQuilt.com or from your local signature dealer. We would love to see your finished project. What color are your elephants gonna be? Upload those projects to AccuQuilt.com. Be sure and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more.